Hello everyone and welcome to the 66th uh, Foreman Community Demo. Uh, we are sorry we couldn't have to, we had to skip the last one uh, because YouTube uh, has uh, stopped supporting Google Hangout. While we're still, uh, we still struggling with uh, YouTube, I'm trying to figure out how to use uh, Open Broadcasting Studio. And uh, till then, this, for this demo at least, uh, we are going to use BlueJeans. So basically we will record this uh, offline on BlueJeans and then we are going to broadcast this on YouTube. Couple of updates before we move ahead uh, to the talks and the agenda today. Uh, I would like to share that we have an open source camp this year, uh, which is a uh, which is a Foreman specific conference, a one day conference that is uh, going to happen on 7 November. The call for papers are still open, and uh, I hope you all have seen the call for papers and submitted some <laughs> talks. So let's move ahead and let's see what we have today for the agenda. So first up, we have uh, Katilo SRPM support by Chris. Then we have HTTP proxy support by James, uh, followed by support for system purpose on activation keys by Shweta. And in the end, we have Pulp 3 smart proxy syncing by Parsa. So uh, without wasting any time, I would like to give it over to Chris. Uh, Chris, over to you. All right, thank you. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, can you go ahead and see that? Yes, I can. Okay, so um, in Catello 313, we launched the ability to upload source RPMs. Um, and what would happen previously is it would upload, but you wouldn't actually see anything. So what I've got here is um, a 312 box, which will show the uh, existing behavior. Then I have the uh, Catello Nightly, which will show the, the new and improved behavior. So um, currently this is only in the API and CLI, so I'm not going to do anything in the UI, but I basically um, have a repository set up. And we're going to upload this RPM called Garmin Dev into it, and we'll see what happens if we don't uh, before the feature was introduced. To Um, so that will just take a moment here. It's pretty, pretty quick. So we can see that it uploaded, but actually, if I really look at it, uh, we can see that nothing actually got uploaded. Um, so that's it was very um, that's that's not very a good user experience. So what I'm going to do now is go hop over to my um, my Catello Nightly box. I have the same RPM. And we see that we have the same source RPM repository. So I'm going to go ahead and upload it. And there's going to be a new flag that is called content type. And we will just pass it SRPM. I do we can see that it's uploaded now um, and then we can actually do we can list the source RPM so hammer SPRM is a new command that was added into hammer and we can grab info on it Um, and we can actually filter down if we do hammer or list. We can actually filter down by different organizations, different lifecycle environments. You can search by content views. So if by default, if you don't pass any parameters, it will just search everything on the entire Catello server. But if you've got multiple orgs, you wouldn't want that. So you can search by that and so forth. And you can drill it down that way, um, even by repository. And that's all I had. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Up sharing. Thanks, Chris. Uh, that was quite informative. Uh, next up, we have HTTP proxy support by James. So over to you, James. All right. Thanks a lot. 
going to go ahead and start sharing. And uh, I prepared a short little film about HTTP proxy support, which shows up in Catello 313. So uh, HTTP proxy support, we're using the form of pro uh, HTTP proxies like you've always uh, known them. And I'll show some examples, uh, testing a connection uh, for purposes of showing you what happens in the um, GUID logs, just to show you that this is some of the action that, that's going on in the proxy. Um, but what we've added is support for proxies with content syncing. So I've got a product defined. It has some repositories, Pulp2 and a Pulp3. And we've added HTTP proxy policies. And you can see it's set to no HTTP proxy, which means no proxy will be used for each one of these. And there's the policy for the other repo. If we go back to our product selection, we added support that uh, will allow you to manage the proxy policy and set the actual proxy to be used for the entire product. So I select the product, go to select the action, I'm going to select the manage HTTP proxy, and you can see there's a drop down, and it can you can select um, what policy you want. We're going to use the global one that's already been defined, and go ahead and update. And in the background, it's going to set both the policy and the proxy to be used, which is the global one for all the repositories in there. And then when I initiate a synchronization, it's going to go ahead and the sync to the backend pull processes will go through that proxy. And we'll let that complete. I'll just take a moment. And in a second, we're going to switch over to my other console. It's going to show you this here, the HTTP requests going through the proxy, just as we wanted. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will also note that in addition to um, if you need to change or look at what the global is setting, you can go to setting content tab, and that's the row you're going to look for, the default HTTP proxy, and it'll show you which one you've got set there. Um, I will also note that if you want to, you can actually define proxies and proxy policies for each individual repository as well. Uh, from the product level. And that's pretty much it. Thanks, Jim. That was quite informative. Next up, we have support for system purpose on activation keys by Shweta. So over to you, Shweta. Uh, thank you, Rahul. Um, I hope you guys are able to see my screen now. Yes, we are. Uh, okay, so um, my name is Shweta and I work with the Catello team. Uh, today I will be talking about a new feature that um, uses the functionality of candle pin to support system purpose and activation keys. Um, now, why did we introduce this feature? So um, with this support, uh, we don't have to add system purpose on each host individually, but just um, um, apply the same activation key with system purpose set on it to uh, multiple content hosts. So th th this improves simplicity and uh, consistency. Uh, now let's go ahead and see how this works. So I've already created an activation here. So this is my activation key with a uh, system purpose set on it. Um, so with activation keys, we can define properties that may be applied to content hosts during registration. And when a system purpose is set, Catello receives this information, which um, helps in auto attaching a subscription that uh, uh, matches this uh, uh, system purpose. So, and here is my uh, content host. So this is my content host and So as you can see, it's uh, not currently uh, registered. So let's use Subscription Manager to register this host with the activation key. So um, we can do this by simply uh, giving it the parameters of organization and uh, Shweta, your uh, volume is kind of low right now. Can you uh, increase it? Because we can't hear you, I guess. Uh, is it OK now? Yeah, better. Thanks. 
yeah, so I just mentioned that um, so you can register the uh, content host with the activation key uh, uh, through subscription manager. So as you can see, the system has been registered with the activation key and we will be able to uh, see this change in the UI. And this host has uh, the system purpose set and with the activation key that I've registered it with. Yeah, that's it for me. Thank you. Oh, that's that's really great and very helpful. Thank you, Shweta. Uh, sorry to say that Partha uh, has uh, uh, has some issues with his setup, so he won't be presenting this week. But we hope that in the next uh, in the upcoming demos, uh, he would be present with his topic again. So thank you all for attending uh, demo number 66. See you next week uh, with demo number 67. Uh, special thanks to all the presenters. See you in the next demo.